Basically, we felt, or at least maybe I pushed the point a lot, that I felt it wasn't going to be that interesting for TRG. Medical Watch set. Oh, Medical Witch. Hey, John, were you ever a fan of Yu Gi Oh? Yeah, no, I played Yu Gi Oh a bunch growing up. Uh, I think. I. I might have given away the majority of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards to my ex. I don't remember if that for sure. I gave her my Pokemon cards. I think she might have gotten that as well. Ah, crap. Actually, funny thing, um, my college, I hang out with a bunch of guys and still play Yu-Gi-Oh and, like, Cardfight Vanguard, which, uh, I actually posted in the chat earlier. I actually just went to my regional qualifiers today. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, 450 people there. I'm arguably the worst guy in my group of friends that I go with. I've survived the longest out of them. That, that's usually how it goes. Like, sometimes you just get a good bit of luck and just go on as far as you can. Sad part is, Cardfight Vanguard is actually somewhat luck-based. <laughs> Amazingly enough. And I have shit. Let's just say I have your luck, except not as extreme. My luck is so bizarre, and it's going to seem so weird to people watching, like, the, the Runaway Guys videos out of order. Because, like... The Fortune Street board that just went up, that was recorded uh, before Mario Party 3, like before we even started it. But it was it was recorded after Castle Crashers, and obviously after the other Fortune Street board we did with Jake. Uh, there's still one last Fortune Street board that's not been posted yet with a different fit player four. That probably won't get posted till the end of our next major project. I'm trying to think about it. We recorded a bunch of like random games with Jake. Um, I probably not. I'm not gonna say what games they are because like right now I can't even remember what games they are. I remember the first time I met you, John. You went up to the Castle Crashers booth and you asked the guy, "Hey, can we do this?" And I'm very glad that you guys eventually did post the uh, Castle Crashers. Yeah, no, I'm glad we eventually did do it. The problem is we didn't have a proper player four in mind to do four Castle Crashers. I think we originally were going to do it with Josh, but we're like, we should probably give someone else some time. I think it was the same day, the, the first day I met you, you did that, and then that was the day you got, you did the demo of El Shaddai so well, you got a free copy of Miramasa. Oh, right! I completely forgotten about that. And Shane, yeah, Shane Bettenhausen, or from, uh, I guess, mo best known from 1UP, was uh, the guy running the demo. Which is awesome, because I'm a big fan of him when he did, uh, shit, what was that show he did with Sean, baby? On, uh, that basically is the same as Red Sea Prey. Broken Pixels, was that the name of the show? I'm not sure. <sighs> Whatever the name of the show was that, uh, Sean, baby... And Shane Bettenhausen did. It was great. All they did was just make fun of bad games. Uh, I think the hammers. Oh, hey, Rising Church. Uh, actually knows. Rising Church. Quick question: What do you? Uh, what deck do you run in Vanguard? Just curious. Let's see if I can just uppercut Dyna Blade to death. I ended up playing El Shaddai and I loved it. You know what? I only got to like chapter 3. I never kept like super into it. I think oh, the main reason oh, I cool. Shit. El Shad I, I liked what I played of it, but I just never got super into it for some reason. I think the reason why I loved it so much was the art, really. The gameplay was really good, too. It just... Uh, the gameplay was really repetitive. Oh, but... shit. The stars. I didn't expect the stars. Okay, so I shouldn't have just—I shouldn't have just stood there doing uppercut. That was a bad idea. I'm guessing you just, yeah, you died. <sighs> yeah, stream's like three seconds behind what you actually say. Well, that's because you're in the but, Skype call, so now you have you get the delay that they've always had. Yeah, that's all good though. So yeah, don't don't go for the uppercut. <laughs> <laughs> duck and weave, duck and weave. Uh, Beam should make quick work of this boss fight, though. Plasma. Cough, cough, plasma. <laughs> eh, I know plasma would too, but... You want to actually give it a fighting chance? Yeah. Plus, it would actually take time. <laughs> I'd have to leave the stage to go back and get plasma. It wasn't there. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. See, boss is done by Waddle Doo running into it while on fire. <sighs> I've done it! 
Hooray. Allah who I spy. This unlocks Meta Knight's Revenge, right? Yes. Right, because Dynablade makes a cameo in that and gets shot down. Um, okay. since we're... Goodbye, Lurch2. I'm gonna do some Samurai Kirby and Megaton Punch, and then I think we'll go to the cookie again. Because we just beat, like, three Kirby games. <laughs> Within the span of about 40 minutes. Not even. Uh, it's been about 25. Wow, I am bad with time. General Froggy says, does anyone watch Botchamania? Oh, I love Bot- I've met Matthew! That dude is funny! <laughs> Yeah, you talked about that in one of your videos, right? Yeah. I forget which one. It was either a Runaway Guys video. It was something. a Runaway Guys video. But yeah, no, Botchamania is great. Uh, Matthew's super funny dude. If you ever get a chance to meet him, usually at MAGFest, I think it's the best chance to meet Matthew. You gotta take that chance. He's awesome. Okay. Oh, I've actually they, there will not be a TRGLP <laughs> with Matthew, though. That's the only thing. I don't think he'd want to do it. And I don't <laughs> think Emil would have any idea who he is or get any of our jokes. We would just be making wrestling jokes the entire time. Oh yeah! You fucked up. You, you fucked, fucked up. up. You fucked. You fucked the worst up. part was I couldn't say you fucked up in the Runaway Guys LP. So I'm like, you messed up. You messed up. <laughs> Trying to sugarcoat <laughs> it as best I could. Oh, you're a red dick. You're a red dick. You're a red dick. Oh man. God, those things. Being, like recording the Runaway Guys video aside from the actual recordings must be like the funniest shit ever. Sorry, say that again. I said that aside from the recording portion, yeah, like, it must be the funniest shit ever. It's it's weird being in like a hotel room with a meal. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> the stories I can tell, and I'm not sure if I should or am allowed to. <laughs> there's the, there's the one which is okay to tell where your glasses randomly just broke. <laughs> I still don't understand what happened. I'm still trying to figure that one out. So, uh, this was our, what, this was our second PAX East, the first time we ran the panel. Uh, either the morning yeah, of or the morning, the morning of or the morning before, I woke up, Emil was in the room at one point, because I was sharing a room with just Tim. And my glasses were on the floor because I didn't have my, my hard case with me, I just put them on the floor. I woke up and they were like, stepped on. They were flattened, the lenses were popped out, and it was completely bent out of shape. So I had to spend like an hour in the hotel room trying to bend it all back to shape because I didn't have any of my repair kit for my glasses on me. And I've never figured out how they got damaged. They were in this position where it was impossible for me to step on them because they were like notched in next to a desk or a dresser that was like right next to my legs. So it was impossible for me to get it. Uh, for Emil to have done it, he was wearing shoes when he was in the room so I would have actually heard him do it because I was awake at the time. And for Tim to have done it, he would have had to have done it in his sleep, and he would have been is, had his crotch basically right next to my mouth, <laughs> which I don't want to think about, and I don't think would have been the case. Oh, I did not feel disgusted when I woke up, so I'm going to chalk that up to that not being the case. So I have no idea why my well, glasses were destroyed. That's just put a nightmare in my head. I think that was the day Thanks, you were... God. I think that was the day you did the panel and your laptop froze. Then you poured an entire cup of water on yourself and uh, half of it on me by accident. Yeah, sorry about that too. <laughs> you know, if I can, I'm going to try to make it out to PAX East this year. Hyper, no, I'm not thinking up effed up things. That's literally the case. For him to have stood on my glasses, he would have had to have been that close <laughs> to my face. That's not me making a joke. That's actual fact. <laughs> The things that I thought were jo was a joke that might have been a fact. It was actually at today at regionals. My friend Brian told me that there's this one kid, Adam, who basically everyone knew about. There was about 200 people in the room at the time when they did the top eight or top 16 announcements. Adam actually got booed by the entire fucking room as soon as his name got called up. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. is serious business. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a uh, card fight Vanguard. But I agree. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, but uh, pretty much every card shop he ever goes to, apparently the card owners hate him because he just is just the biggest dick ever. And Brian told me that 
he was playing a friend named, uh, Adam was playing a, friend, a guy named Travis, and apparently he, Adam offered Travis a bribe to just give Adam the win. Travis says no. Adam does get the win, legitly, and the judges are like, okay, this guy's a dick. Oh, I should probably set up the straw poll, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, get ready for straw poll. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, Adam, uh, actually, I'll tell the story after we get this set All right. up. So, uh, my choice for the fortune cookie is once again, Gradius 5. And our three options coming from fortune cookie are... Uh... Nothing? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Backlogger uh, might actually be down for maintenance. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright, nothing is an option. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I don't believe you have you. a backup on, um... Hello Kitty's Island to beat? Adventure? No, I don't have any of my stuff moved to Hell on to beat. Oh, no, there we go. It's back. Okay. Mugen oh. Souls for PS3. So, a real-time strategy game. Or, sorry, a turn-based strategy game. Oh, I, I, I only heard it was Mugen, and I was like, you have the fighting game that you yeah, have on Salty right. Bed? Oh, God. I, no, I, ha I have Mugen, but I don't think I have it set up on this one. Uh, Lemmings. Is that the PSP game? The, this is the Super Nintendo version, apparently. And... Mar oh, God. Well, we know what's going to win. Mario Kart 64. <laughs> oh, okay. Obviously, it's going to be Mugen Souls. Obviously, Mu obviously, obviously. Yeah. And Struffle is in town. Okay, so... Oh, I think I'm thinking of Luminous. Or, you know that you're, you're weird, thinking, like, music... You're, yeah, you're thinking Luminous. Alright, so... There's so a straw poll that. link. Uh, I will replace the one that's in the title with the new one. So, back to my story. Uh, Adam apparently was so hated that the judges were even suspicious of what he did after he attempted to bribe the guy he faced after he beat him. And Travis uh, was asked if he tried to bribe him, or if he tried to get bribed on the map. And he's like, no. And so Travis goes back to Adam about 10 minutes later, and he's like, hey, you want to give me 10 bucks for not writing you out, asshole? And Adam's response was just a simple fuck you. I could not make that up if I tried. I feel like there should be a Disappointed! weird, incredibly... Whoa. Did not expect that. Disappointed! What the fuck? Huh? I'm pressing, I'm sorry, I'm pressing the button to start playing music, and instead now it's become, it plays Disappointed. I Was put Mario? Mario, did I just seriously put Mario Kart 64? Yes, I Mario it Kart. <laughs> it's ready I for a just... party. <laughs> I also thought it was Super Mario Kart, but I must have heard it wrong. That's yeah, Mario Kart 64. I'm playing Mario Karty. I'm waiting for the day where there actually is a Mario Party, and it's the 64th installment, because they have so <laughs> many at this point. What are they up to, like, 10? Mario Party, uh, uh, like, the numerical ones are at 9, and then there's three handheld ones, so they're at 12. And 13 if you count the card game. Let's see. There's a Mario Party card game? Yes, there's a Mario Party card game called Mario Party E. I own it. Really? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got it when I was a kid, back when I was really into the e-reader. It, it's kind of fun. <laughs> John, do you like Mario Karties? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, so pretty, I'm pretty sure it's Mario Karty. Let's let's get ready for some Mario Kart, I guess. Oh yeah. Let's be fair. That t I'm on three hours of sleep, and I've been up for 21 hours. So. I'm also expecting uh, Star Cup immediately. <laughs> we so, will we'll be back after this short break. So if you hear me pass out, like I hear a sudden thud like that, that's me pa passing out from exhaustion. <laughs> Oh man, I think I might have to take out my headset to find Mario Kart because I don't think my cord is long enough. Mario Karty. Yeah. I just realized I have Hotline Miami and Intermission both playing at the same time. <laughs> we only need one of the two, even though I do like I, I do like hydrogen. Found a new meme for the stream. What is the new stream meme? Mario Karty. Mario Karty, really? Yeah, we got you will give me an egg. Disappointed, Chris. Di uh, wow, I already said this one. Yeah, that's. 
Obviously, I'm on three hours of sleep again. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna Obviously. lie. If if I can get uh, subscription set up like Patrick, and I can get the option to make uh, avatars, I'm gonna try to figure out egg ones for egg and disappointed. Yes. Gamer Renegade, you don't have the emote face thing. It doesn't really count. Raise your Pictionary. Raise your Pictionary? Yeah. That'd be a good game to LP. <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad Especially for like a multiplayer game. It, it would be. I was about to say single player. <laughs> oh god, there you go. You've solved the mystery. You've done it. Dan, you've I done it. I found the missing link. You found the missing link. You did make me think how fun, how hilarious it would be if you got a runaway guy LP of Clue. Oh, Dude, I'd, I'd be down for that. That'd be that. great. I played that when I was like eight years old at my cousin's house for Christmas. I think there's a PlayStation One version. There's, I think there's one for like a number of consoles. There's one for uh, SNES. I, I think they skipped the NES. Yeah, Genesis got the exact same one. I there's like two, three PC ones. I had one of them at one point in like a box of cereal. Yeah, I think I had the same one. <laughs> it was made by Hasbro, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I think Hasbro made that one directly. To be fair, Hasbro also made that copy of Wheel of Fortune we played tonight, so. <laughs> Zoom Deer Pokemon. Oh, wow, it's the new X and Y. It's not that I wanted you to choose me or something, it's just. Baka! <laughs> a a, a Sunundra Pokemon? <laughs> Dan, you surpassed passive aggressive Carmen San Diego. Why, thank you, Lingen, sir. That's what I was going for. I saw the Mega Evolutions of Charizard today. Those looked pretty cool. Dude, oh, you, did, you didn't look at those that before? Was all I wanted. You had not mm -hmm. seen those before? No. But I had a couple friends who bought the game and posted them on their like Facebooks, and they looked pretty cool. Yeah, they, are, they are fairly neat. I, I'm on the fence still about getting Pokemon X or Y. It looks like a very good game. I've seen the, like my friend got it. He played it on the way to Vanguard Regionals, and I love the new changes. There, it wasn't just Mega Evolution. They did a lot of different things. Like um, the experience share is now like the experience all from the original game, and that you can actually toggle it on and off. It's basically a key item. Oh, nice. Um, another change is that if you switch out to a different Pokemon. And they all participate, they all get the full experience, not just like split. That's good. That was one thing that kind of bugged me. Yeah. Like from, um, like kind of like Earthbound and Mother and that, or Mother 3. Oh, because I'm on the wrong switch. That's why it's not working. That should do it. Yes, that did it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna um, know I didn't have to clean my N64 or the cart. Let's see. What else did they change? Apparently the third gym is the Mega Evolution gym. You actually have to face the Mega Evolutions. And apparently that's also the key. Like beating that gym starts the unlocking of it. Can anyone confirm that for me? Welcome to Mario Kart. It's time for a Mario Kart. I'm playing Mario Kart too. Also. They just announced Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. I can't tell if that's really? real. That's what Eco just said in the chat. I don't know if that's real or not. Eh, it's not surprising, really. Oh, I think? That's I thought... true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. If it didn't get officially announced, I, I still think it's going to happen eventually. Yeah. Because they're bringing Kingdom Hearts 3 to the Xbox One. So you're going to have an entire generation of gamers on the Xbox not know what the hell is happening unless they have all the games prior to it. Alright, I'm on 150cc. I haven't played this game in ages. I'm gonna do horrible. Uh, which cup should I play? <laughs> I Obviously guarantee special, you man. special cup is gonna win. Oh, Star Cup. Race through Warrior Stadium. I hate Warrior Stadium. Really? I mean, I know it's extremely long, but... I, Honestly, I, I, I love get Toad's Turnpike more. I actually, I love the atmosphere of Wario Stadium, but I hate the length of it. Yeah, everyone's saying special. Yeah, is Slow Chat on? Because it's going surprisingly slow. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. And one for Royal Cup. Ah, uh, yeah, special. I saw the majority of special during slow. So, so all right, more. guys. Well, watch me get last place in every race. <laughs> 
Lucas says star, and she's a mod, so I think hers overrides everyone else. <laughs> that, that's exactly how that works. How did you know? Mod power. What's this democracy you speak of? I love Yoshi Valley simply because the game has it has so many different variables. It can't tell you what position you're in. Yeah, actually, that's not true. You can actually look at the mini map if your character is glowing and you're in first. So in a way. You can actually still tell. Oh, I remember in in this level, Doug comes on the parkway that you could just just fly oh, off. Whoa! The what the hell happened there? Oh, you just fly all the way to the item. Box. What the fuck happened there? Indeed. <laughs> wow, that was just. <laughs> That was something. Uh, Aura Blade, that's actually 100% true. Oh, uh, Rising Church, uh, yes it was. Completely double elimination, best of one. Wait, why am I spinning out on the grass? I'm not getting hit by anything, it happens before I get hit. Um, probably because you're turning too much. Like, if you turn, like, rapidly too fast, like if you swerve, That'll make you spin out. Seriously? Yeah. It's like getting hit with a banana if you're going slow. Or if you get hit with a banana when you're going not full speed. Which you almost did. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I don't know, Rising Church, but my deck for that format is actually really good. My deck is all about beating the crap out of you early. So I play uh, Nova Grappler Razors, which is basically giant fucking Transformers. <laughs> I swear to god. And it hits really hard if I can get set up early. And no one has any idea what I'm talking about. Are you, are you just talking magic, or...? Um, Vanguard. Oh. Uh, Rising Church, I don't think that Nova... Well, not all Nova Grappler cards are Gundams. Like, I feel like the Blau Krieger, uh, Blau Krieger cards, those are more Gundams. I remember having a ton of Pokemon cards, but never actually knowing how to play the card game. Right? The card game was actually super fun. I was totally into it. I played a bit of the online version that came out like a year or two ago and was completely confused about how to play it since I never played it. I just collected them all. Dark, I know about the spinning out and hit the break thing for a whistling, but I didn't realize that one time when I spun out that it was happening. I heard the sound, but I didn't look like I was spinning out. You know, to date, a first edition Charizard still goes for about two grand. I can yeah. believe that. Oh, also Blank's Pikachu. Birthday Pikachu. That goes for like a shit ton. Also, it's completely banned because you would get 80 damage on it just by claiming it was your birthday. That's its effect. <laughs> I feel like that. Okay, I think it was two electric energy and um, 30 on its own. Flip a coin if it's your birthday and it lands on heads, 50 more damage. I feel like that's. Have you ever hear of the magic cards unhinged or unglued? No, I played magic, but I actually not that much so now. The unhinged deck was like the set of cards that were made for a joke. And you could literally like one of the cards is called Avatar of Me. And its attack and defense was your height and your shoe size. Are you serious? It was your height and feet rounded up and your and your shoe size in Rounded to the nearest half. So you can have like a six, ten and a half creature. That is stupid. It was, it was, the entire thing was made as a giant joke and it was hilarious. So, fun fact uh, if you've ever heard me in a Runaway Guys recording when we play Mario Kart referring to a star as a banjo, this is the game that originated from. Because it's pretty <laughs> much a banjo they play when you use the star. So anytime you hear me say someone's got a banjo, that's what I mean. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. I just looked that card up. 
I think for I think you have to pay one extra mana for every ten years you've been alive. Avatar of Me's color is the color of your eyes. <laughs> so what do you do with your brown eyes? Is it red? I think it's black in that instance. Huh. I want to play that if it's still in format. I don't think it is, though. Unhinged cards were never tournament legal. Oh, uh, just because they were... They were all jokes. Every uh, single one of them. I don't care about tournament legality, I just want to play it. <laughs> Most people who are hardcore Magic fans will not let you play a deck against them with it. Ah, uh, I can because... understand why, because that one, because they sound a bit broken. There's also a card, uh... <laughs> Ass whoop. <laughs> There's one called Now You Know Your ABCs or something. Whereas, like, if at the beginning of your upkeep, you, uh, your permanents you control have every letter of the alphabet, you win the game. And then there's a card that's literally called Underscore, Underscore, Underscore. And the ability is for, like, two mana, you can name it whatever you want. So you can name it A through Z and just win the game. <laughs> wow. That is retarded. There's also a card called Dumbass. And Fatass, and I think Jackass. Duh, destroy target creature with reminder text. That's a good one, too. Oh, deal damage. Deal damage deals four damage to target creature or player. Gotcha Aw, damn whenever... it, Bowser! Gotcha whenever an opponent says deal or damage, you may say gotcha. If you do return deal damage from your graveyard to your hand. Oh. What did Bowser beat you by? I'm interested to see this. Point zero like... five. Jesus. Oh. It makes sense. He's he has higher overall speed because he's a heavy class. Yeah. So that puts me ranking wise. I'm still in second, but I'm I will not be able to beat Yoshi like at all at this Three rate. Three maps. Mana cost one million. How does Luigi, Toad, and Wario all have zero points? Is this a game where you can actually get zero points? Yeah, AIs can, you can't. Oh, because this, this is the game where the top four gets points and the bottom four don't get any. Okay. Right, but if the player doesn't get top four, then he restarts. It's been so long since I played the old older Mario Karts. That's even. Oh, fun. got the speed Mario boost Kart. this time at least. Isn't there a shortcut in this? There's a shortcut in all of them, practically. Yeah. Can you see boardwalk? I'm, oh, oh, wait, I think I do remember there being like... You need to have a mushroom to get it, though. Or hope to God you're going fast enough. Like, as, I don't as, think you can go fast enough without a mushroom. Like, you jump across, like, a small part of the pit? Yeah. There's a part yeah. of the pit you can jump, and there's a part you can't. Yeah, like, a very small part you can totally... Like right I got a lightning bolt point. in second place? What? Broken. I might be thinking of the SNES version of this map where you can do a ridiculous, like... That one you need the feather or the mushroom, yeah. Okay, that's probably the thing of the SNES version. But there isn't okay. a track named Banshee Boardwalk in that one. There's only uh, the ghost houses. Yeah, oh, shit, fun. shit, 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 shit. You fucked up, you fucked up. You fucked up, you fucked up. Yep. You know what, that reminds me, freaking Azure Blade for uh, Rodney when he did his Mario Kart 64 BS battles with uh, Jim Milius and White Nico. They all fell off at the exact same time and hit the water. Incoming and Banjo. No, what are you doing? Mario, what are you doing? Mario stack. <sighs> yeah, it was a pretty smooth move, not gonna lie. I basically lost the ability to turn and just kept going. It, it happened again. Okay, I'm expecting Mario Kart Wii controls, apparently. So, disappointed? Disappointed. I just went from third to eighth. Fantastic. Wow. Lovely. My favorite track in any Mario Kart is the one in Wii that has like five or six laps because it's so tiny. Oh, oh baby, yeah. baby park. Yeah, in, I love that. That's, that's the GameCube. Dash. Yeah, oh, GameCube. Double dash, sorry. That's in, actually wait. I, it's in the DS version too. Yes. 
I love that chord. Oh, disappointed, Jeff. Thank you.